What's good, YouTube? Robert Johnson here, bringing today 10 must-have snacks for a cut for me personally. You might feel differently, but these are the foods I like to eat. Now, let me get started by saying stop drinking your calories. There's two things you need. A sugar-free electrolyte beverage, zero calories, and water. Everything else don't matter. Get over juice. If you got to drink juice, maybe get the low calorie option. I know it doesn't taste as good, but get over it. At number 10, powdered peanut butter. In specific, this PB Fits. You can find it everywhere, Sam's, Walmart, Amazon. Get you some. Two tablespoons are 70 calories. I don't know if we're focused in here. I have no idea, but I'm just going to assume we are and move on. That's my number 10. Pair this with some sugar-free jelly or marshmallow fluff. I like marshmallow fluff. I don't know how y'all feel about that. Peanut butter, marshmallow fluff. That might be dry for some of y'all, but I used to eat peanut butter sandwiches. No jelly. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, no, no water. No beverage. Cotton mouth. It was good. Pair this with some bread. I like the Lewis bread. Honey wheat is my favorite. They just didn't have honey wheat when I got it. It's only $2, so I got some whole wheat bread. 35 calories a slice, so that's two calories, two slices for 70 calories, plus the powdered peanut butter is only 70 calories for two tablespoons. I normally use about four, but, you know, pair that with the marshmallow fluff sugar-free jelly, you still pretty low in calories. Number nine, I like these power muffin cups. I don't remember what brand, but there's one with 10 grams of protein, and it's like slightly, I believe it's around the same in calories, but this is 20 grams of protein, 230 calories. You can use some skim milk, or my favorite milk, Silk Ultra Protein Milk. 20 grams of protein, 180 calories. Great macros on this milk for one cup of milk. This Mighty Muffin Cup requires a fourth cup of milk. So think about this. We need 45 calories of this milk, which has five extra grams of protein, and one cup of this, 230 calories, 20 grams of protein. So this 275 calories for 25 grams of protein in a dessert. Now, does it taste like a brownie? Hell no, nah, I ain't even gonna act like it do. But you know what you can do to make it taste like one? Taste some of this chocolate sauce. Hershey's zero sugar, five calories for 15 grams of chocolate sauce. Make that on top. And then my number one will be a bonus for it. But we're going to get to that in a second. Also, the Ready Whip. Five calories for two tablespoons. You can't go wrong with the fat-free Ready Whip. Now let's move on to my number seven. Veggie straws. I love the screaming Hot Veggie Straws. 28 grams is only 110 calories, one serving of it. 110, 120 calories, something like that. I like to bag mine up like this because the big bag, once you open it, it goes stale pretty quick. So I like to keep them in Ziplocs. These screaming Hot Veggie Straws are just like the hot fries you used to see the girls in class eat. They just as good, I promise. Number six, beef jerky. Now my favorite, is the jalapeno Jack Link beef jerky. But that was a seasonal thing and they out of stock in my local Sam's. So I'm opting for the Members Mark steak strips because they was kind of cheap. You know what I'm saying? Normally a 16 ounce bag is $15 and this 12 ounce bag was $8. So I'm not really hating, but the macros on it, an ounce, 28 grams, 70 calories, nine grams of protein. That's solid, you can't beat that as a snack are Fit Factor Protein Bars. Now, 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 now. We've been on a budget this whole time, kind of. But with this one here, budget goes out the window. These about $30 a box. 12 protein bars for $30. But check this out, check this out. One bar is 180 calories, has 20 grams of protein and 20 grams of dietary fiber. That's, that's an unbeaten combination there, fellas. You can't beat that. And ladies, you can't beat that. But my channel is like 96% men, so when I say fellas, don't be offended. Number five. My counting is definitely off here. 
My count is definitely off. I think we on number four. Have y'all been keeping count? I'll fix it in post. <laughs> the next one. Protein cereal. Now, this Kellogg Special K protein cereal is not the greatest by itself. But pair it with the skin, the silk milk, with some silk milk, and mix this 210 calories for 15 grams of protein, and it's about 59 grams of cereal. So that's not a, a lot of cereal, but 210 calories, 15 grams of protein, plus a serving of the Kashi Go. I like the almond flats, peanut butter crunch. These, these are, well, honey, almond, flax, crunch, no peanut butter. Don't get me wrong. The cinnamon crunch is the best one, macro-wise. 14 grams of protein, 200-odd-some calories. But the problem is the box is smaller, and I've only seen it at Target. So I don't really shop at Target, especially not with a girl at home. That's a bad idea. You're going to be in there all day. Go by yourself if you do go, fellas. Uh, and they overpriced. I'm not going to no Target just for some cereal. So I opt out for the Honey Almond Flax Crunch. Nine grams of protein, 200 calories. So think about this. 410 calories for the cereal, and we already at 24 grams of protein. You pair this with one cup of, one cup of milk, a 590-calorie breakfast bowl of cereal, that contains 44 grams of protein, y'all. It is not hard to get the protein in, fellas. Stop making excuses. And I recently found this keto cereal. It is very costly. It's like $7 a box, but it has great macros. 17 grams of protein for 160 calories of cereal, fellas. Come on. Pair this with the Kashi Go, like I said, pair the le the worst tasting cereals with the better tasting Kashi Go, and then the milk, and you won't be disappointed. The crunch of this and the crunch of that, or the flakiness of this with that, you can't, you can't beat that, fellas. I had to go back and re-record this because I'm realizing why I was off count now. I missed one thing, and it would have went at like the six spot. Ice cream bars, ignore my beat up box. But I like cream sickles. Cream sickles are pretty low in calories. You can eat two bars for 130 calories. So your choice of ice cream bar that's low in calories, keep in mind. Don't go out here and be eating no $500 ice cream. $500, 500 calorie ice cream bar and talk about your cutting. Two bars, 130 calories. Keep it low. All right, next on the list, we got the Kashi Go Waffles. Y'all know I like Kashi Go products. They got a couple variations. We got the traditional buttermilk and vanilla waffles where we get two waffles for 240 calories and 12 grams of protein. So you eat four waffles, that's already 24 grams of protein. Pair this with the sugar-free syrup. Y'all see I actually use my stuff around here. I got another full bottle, but I wanted to show y'all the one that's almost empty. This stuff is good. No, it don't taste just like maple syrup, but it's good enough, damn it. You better take it. Five calories for 30 milliliters, two tablespoons. There's also the chocolate chip with actually slightly better macros, 230 calories for two waffles, 12 grams of protein each. You know what I'm saying? 460 calories for four waffles. Pair that with about, I'd say... It's five, it's five calories per 30 milliliters or two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. So you're probably going to use 20 to 30 calories of syrup. That's easily 20, 24 grams of protein and under 500 calories. Not quite as good as the cereal where you're getting 40 plus grams of protein and under 600 calories, but still solid. If you're just in a waffle mood. Also... They got pancakes, flapjacks. I have not tried them yet. I need to try this for y'all, see what they're talking about. Uh, I would probably microwave these. You can toast them, put them in the oven. Hmm. But the flapjacks, you get three of them, 190 calories, 14 grams of protein. So actually, these flapjacks have better macros than the waffles do. So 
you can eat six of these, 28 grams of protein, 380 calories. So you're gonna be under 420, 430 calories and 28 grams of protein. That's solid right there. And number two, number two. I lost track of where I was at, but now we back. Cause I know what number two and number one are. The fruit, the fruit, the fruit, the fruit. Your fruit of choice. Berries are best, but I love apples, so I eat apples. Apples are typically about 100 calories, so are bananas, if you get the large bananas and large apples. Also, shout out to Jeff Nipper, the kiwis on deck. I normally get the sun gold kiwis, but I wanted to try the green kiwis this time. I just wanted to give them a try. I almost always get the sun gold kiwis, but green kiwis are good too. I was like, why not give them a try? Because they were on sale. I'm cheap. All right, coming in at that number one spot, undefeated. My best go-to snack. No sugar added bluebell, y'all. This stuff is delicious. Before y'all say it, no, it does not taste exactly like the homemade vanilla. It is better. 10 out of 10. For sugar-free ice cream, listen here, listen here. Let me wipe that ice off. 110 calories for two-thirds cup. Y'all do realize most ice cream is 230 calories plus for two thirds cup. This is literally half the calories. You get to eat double the ice cream with this. And guess what? We got six grams of dietary fibers in this two thirds cup, otherwise 99 grams. Five grams of protein. So what I like to do is I generally eat about 198 grams. I'm lying. I normally eat about 160 grams. So that's normally about... Uh, 110 calories, mm -hmm. doing the math in my head. It's about 170, it's about, it's a little more than that. It's close to 200 calories. Let's call it close to 200 calories. But close to 200 calories will make it almost nine grams of protein. Pair this with the zero sugar Hershey syrup, five calories for 15 grams. And the ready whip. Five, calorie, five calories for five grams. You can make yourself a sundae for less than 250 calories that contains over 10 grams of protein. Think about that. That's not bad at all. Meanwhile, y'all are wasting all these calories on dumb stuff. Y'all over here eating three cookies and that's 600 plus calories with no protein. Meanwhile, you can satisfy a craving better with the ice cream sundae with far fewer calories. And remember I said I was gonna come back to the Mighty Muffin. Mighty Muffin, Silk Milk. 230 calories plus the 45 calories from this. So now we're up to 275 calories, 25 grams of protein. Throw in a whole two thirds cup of Blue Bell on top of that. Guess what our macros are at? We are only at 385 calories and how many grams of protein? 34 grams of protein for a dessert. The Mighty Muffin with the Blue Bell, 385 calories, 34 grams of protein for a dessert. Throw on the chocolate syrup on top. If you like whipped cream, do that. Let's round it up to 420. 420 calories for 34 grams of protein? That's unbeaten, I'm telling y'all. I don't know why nobody is talking about the no sugar added bluebell, but it is my go-to. Everybody I've ever met has said it is good. You're a hater if you say, oh, it's not as good as you ice cream. You just a hater. Grow your taste buds. All right. Now I gotta go put all this garbage away. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Subscribe for similar content. I will be doing some more videos now that I have a little more free time. My semester just ended. But yeah, pay me.